Play. Red Boy is directly behind you in orange. Alright, winner's quarters. Uh, another one. Thor versus Itzan, the two best sorties on campus. Uh, two best sorties in the game. Do it. If you're doing it, you gotta wait for stream. I'm kidding. You did just knock out Captain for second place. Anyways, while we're talking about DDD on another match, they're going kind of even. They're both at the 60 percent ishes. Uh, they're on battlefields, which anybody else for amateurs? Yes. <laughs> no. Anyways, it's on getting the early lead, putting Thor off stage. Uh, Misses with the forward tilt. Thor's able to get back on stage. He gets grabbed for his trouble, but he's able to get back to the ledge, get his double jump back. Comes back on stage with that down air tilt. Uh, gets a back air, puts him off stage. He's able to use his, his uh, advantage state, you know, control the stage to get limit charge. Very important part of the character. Uh, keeps looking for these spikes on Marth coming back up. Marth got a lot of disjoint in his up B. Uh, getting him with the PGA. Uh, Thor. Got his limit, gets a nair on the get up from the ledge. Uh, that's a big thing that's become more and more important as Smash 4 has gotten more refined is the your your ability as a player and the character to cover ledge get up options and to read them or react to them in certain situations. I don't know. It's the difference is you can't tell. Uh, Thor stuck on the platform, able to get back down, but has to hit the shield that gets grabbed for his trouble. Uh, lost his limit in there somewhere. It's a back air put off the side at 145, able to air dodge through. It's on his hit. Uh, can't sweet spot the ledge. Gets back on stage. Does a down smash. Gets four smash for his trouble. Not the sweet spot, but at that percent, it doesn't matter. Uh, he has the kill power though to get this kill pretty early and bring it back up. Or looking to get his limit back. Very important. Uh, not just for getting this stock off, which he can honestly do without, but like just for the remainder of the match. You know, he's got another stock to go through if he gets past this one. Uh, it's Alan's looking for uh, damage. Uh, always nice, but if he can get some kind of juicy tip or kill, that's just the insult to injury. Doesn't happen. Gets dash attack. Lens off the edge. Didn't get that much. Uh, honestly, Thor's in the advantage right now. He didn't lose that much damage by being less. And he's got a limit coming into this next uh, engagement. Now he's definitely in the lead. Uh, looking for down tilt to cover the ledge twice. Uh, it's on kind of reacted to that and is like, hey, uh, you can't catch me with this intro twice, at least in this instance. Uh, Thor raising the roof on him, though. Uh, that works every time. Uh, going for the PG again, doesn't quite get it. Uh, looking for some careful spacing. It's on, is in a position to get a tipper kill here. Uh, that's kind of Marth's uh, coup de grace, which distinguishes them from Lucina, other than the fact that they can get different combos because they're different uh, blades. Despite having very similar uh, character models. Uh, Thor with the forward smash, though, takes game one. This is still best of three territory. Probably thinking it was an accident or something. I don't know. This is winner's semis. Okay, not winner's quarters. Uh, so winner of this will go to winner's finals. A forward smash. All right, going back to Battlefield Game 2. It's on going back. Okay, anyways, uh, Thor kind of started off to a better start. It's on kind of had established control out the gate, uh, game one. Uh, Thor going for the PGA gives It's on an opportunity to get back to stage, but he's able to knock him back off. Thor almost has limit. This is pretty bad for It's on. It's not insurmountable, but like, Thor gets the limit, burns it immediately. That's the Mewtwo King. Uh, 
Uh, going for a Nair, probably to cover more options, even if it's not powerful as an upper band situation. I don't actually know if I would have killed there, though, so, you know. Uh, going for another dash attack, then going for a forward smash. It's on, takes advantage of that with that Dancing Blade. It's a great punish move, does a lot of damage. Thor kind of using the platforms to his advantage. Uh, keep him between him, getting his limit. Uh, didn't quite get the kill with it. Gets the Nair, yeah, I mean the jab, puts him off stage, gets more time trick from it, has his full limit. Is he going to burn it quickly, or is he going to save it? Because if he gets the kill and he keeps his limit, that puts him in such a good advantage. But he does the Mewtwo King again, and he doesn't save it. Uh, puts him back off stage again, going for limit again. It's on, will not go quietly into that good night. Uh, gets the PGA again. Uh, like... Seventh time's the charm, and it worked the second time, so, you know, that's probably some mathematical sequence. Or going for the forward smash, uh, might have been a misinput. Uh, I think he has attack, but I think Thor actually uses default attacks, is that right? De default controls? Yeah, okay, so yeah, Thor uses default controls. Uh, so I might have just, like, I don't know. He doesn't have a C-Stick to, you know, do attacks with versus smash attacks. Uh, okay, Thor going for another smash attack. Dies for it again. It's the second... Actually, that's the second time the set it has got a kill because he's forward smashed after shielding Thor's down, get up down smash. Uh, that's called the Rickles. Wake up, D-Smash. Uh, Thor with his own uh, Dancing Blade, except his gives him Limit. Uh, it's actually the move that Leo, MK Leo, uh, potentially best player in the world, called the best move in the game, the regular not cross slash side B. Uh, Thor with the Mewtwo King again. Uh, this set is actually, you know, the match, it's on, has brought this back despite starting out down. Kind of like the first match Thor was down and they brought it back. Uh, didn't come back from as far as it's on, had to go through though. Uh, we can attribute this mainly to it's on living to like 170, 180 his first stock. That's impressive. That kind of longevity is what you need. Uh, it proves you just really understand Cloud, how to not get hit by his shenanigans, and his very powerful distress to throw out. People are laughing, make me think something bad's about to happen. Nope, okay. Uh, throw the down smash, doesn't work. Jab to F tilts. Uh, that's one of Marth's bread and butters. Puts him on stage, doesn't get the kill. Um, probably would have if we got the tipper. Almost definitely would have got the tipper. Thor with the up throw. Uh, not gonna kill yet. Uh... Uh, it's on, get, gets that limit off, finally gets the limit off of Thor. Uh, that's a great spot to be in, goes for jab, forward tilt, goes for the up tilt, reading the roll, does some kind of nonsense and dies for it. Thor going to winner's finals. I think they both did back air? Thor, what happened? I traded a back air with his non-temporary. Was it his back air? I think it was his back air, but... Yeah, back air trade.